Hey everyone. So today I wanted to show how I paint this uh, character. So this baby crocodile. So I start with the sketch of this crocodile. So um, yeah, I always use a line uh, line art to start. So what I do is I take this sketch, copy it, paste it. And then uh, let's make it a little bit bigger. So I place it here and turn the opacity a bit down. And then you put on this layer on multiply. I'm now working in Photoshop. It's a program from uh, Adobe. And you can uh, try it out for 30 days for free. So let's put it on multiply. So what, what's happening when you put it on multiply, you can see, see through it. So um, what I do then is to lock in the, the colors. So here you can see the next step I take. So I start with a sketch like this. And what's important to realize with a sketch like this is that I, I drew this crocodile in some sort of 3D shape. You see, these are all 3D shapes. And you can see some videos of me uh, um, explaining how you can draw in uh, 3D. But it makes it easier to shade. So when you have these this things, then you know you can make this side dark and this side light. I will explain this a bit later. So, but for now, I want to uh, block the colors in. So let's start with a uh, green. So here we have the colors and I want to have it a bit darkness and a bit saturated. So I pick this color here. So then I start blocking in the color. So then I trace with the lasso tool. I trace the line work, the whole shape like this. So. And when you press um, Alt, you can make these sh sharp corners. And when you hold it, you draw with your lesser tool. So normally, what I normally will do is, um, because I, I want to go a bit quick through it, so I do it a bit rough. But normally, I take a bit more time for it. And also, speaking about time, is the, if this is your first time painting something, I often get a lot of questions of how, how uh, quick did you do it and so on. And a character like this I can do in uh, two, three hours or something. But if you're starting out, it's, it's totally normal that you will take uh, a lot longer uh, to make it. So, but don't worry it. If you're just starting out, it, it, it takes time. So now I press G, or you can hear the paint bucket tool. Then I fill, fill this in with that color. So now if we turn off the, the line work, we can see the, the silhouette of the crocodile. So now we can, oh yeah, we can also draw this tooth in. So now we have the silhouette of the crocodile. So now we make a folder here, and then we select here. What you can do is, um, if you have the select tool, and you press Control and you press on this thumbnail, you select the outlines of that uh, of the silhouette, and then you can press this button for mask, and then this layer is masked. So now we can draw within the shape. For example, let's take this once. So in that these colors you see now I drawing within the shape. If I normally would do this, I draw over it. But now because of the the mask, I'm drawing within the shape. So now also you can also color it like this. And that is the thing I first do. So then I color this in. Then is there something more yellow? Here's a part that's yellow on his belly. And then let's make the eyes white. 
So like this. We can make these bytes. So first I make in all the big shapes. And this is also the stage where I pick colors that are nice, uh, working nice together. So the yellow is, uh, is uh, close to the green. What I mean with that is here you see the yellow and here's the green. So it's close to each other. So it's in, uh, in, in harmony with each other. So let's draw in the teeth. You can also do with a brush. So we take the yellow of the teeth and we can also this, this white yellowish color and then we pick the brush. I, I normally use standard brushes. So what I do is normal round brush and I put on the shape dynamics that make sure that your line goes from uh, thick to thin. And I put the transfer off so it's not transparent. And then I draw in the draw in the teeth like this. And again, I'm a bit in a hurry now. I don't want to make a really long video, so that's why I'm working a bit rough. So and then let's do the color of the mouth. Also, take this color. So this is a perfect stage to, to pick the colors of your character. So now it's still easy because now you don't worry about um, what kind of shadows do you want to use. You only focus on the color, colors and um, you're, yeah, it's, it's like you're uh, coloring a picture book like when, when you was a kid. So then at the tongue, so that's a bit of a lighter pink, the tongue. And that's it. The color then there. And you see, I put all these separate layers on it. And it makes it easier to, to work with. You can also name those layers, like you double click on the name and then you call tongue and so on. So, what can we do more? Oh, I forgot the teeth. So, let's do that. And what is this layer? Nothing. So here we can do the, the nails and the, those things. So let's color those. Let's go through it like this. And also select here. You, you see how fast it goes with the lasso tool. And you can always, um, yeah, uh, make it a bit sharper uh, with with the select uh, lesser tool as well because you can also cut uh, stuff with the lesser tool. Like uh, when you something you don't like something, you have the lesser tool and you press Alt. Of uh, yeah, you you make a selection and you press backspace. You can remove it again. So then you can also make uh, shapes in it. But that's then how I make it more. How I, how, I, how I want it. So what can we do more? Oh, the spots. What I also do is then uh, with the selection control uh, tool, uh, V, I use control to select uh, the, the layer. So I, I have the selection tool, V, and then I press uh, control and then I click on the color I want to select and then Photoshop automatically goes to the layer you want. And I will show it later again. So now I'm making the spots. You can also paint them or use the lesser tool. It's up to you what you find working nice. So also make these eyes here a bit darker. Oh, let's do that behind the eye. So now I press control, click, and now I go to this layer and then I go under it. So under the eyes. So we make these eyelashes, uh, those eyelids a bit darker. So control click, make a new layer, and then make the pupils. So I started with blue 
because I think, oh, that's nice and, and bright vanilla, and I, I ended, up, ended up with brown because, um, yeah, I, I wanted to go for a more um, color palette that is a bit more in the, in the same range. So blue is all the way here, so, but I wanted to stay in this range. So like these pupils, like this. So now we've set everything up. So this is the first step. Now the next step, basic shading. So now I select, for example, the green, and then the print part starts. You can take a soft brush, like here, put it soft, put the transfer on. So you have here, it's transparent and here it's not. So when you press softly, it, it gives this, uh, yeah, this light shade, but then you press hard, it's darker. So let me show that a bit. In, uh, like so. so what we're now going to do, so let's actually start with the ball so I can explain it a bit. So here, make this ball, give this ball a color. And then we can, uh, so, so let's determine where the, the light is coming from. So if we look here, the light is coming from the right up. So like this. So if we would render this ball, we have this soft brush, you know? So then we pick a darker color, a dark green, like here. So, and we go nice around, around it. So we have, it already gives this 3D feeling, you see? And then you can uh, add the more yellowish highlight color here. And let me see why the oh put the transfer on minimum so there's more so it's more uh, yeah you can press really soft to paint it in and this is basically what I do with these characters so I paint this ball and this point is lighter so this more lighter and this is we can even make this a bit darker here and when a ball is on the ground. You have this light coming here, but there's also light coming on the ground and it bounces up from the ground to the ball. And then you have this color here a bit, you see? Because this is light that is reflecting from the ground to the ball. So you get this side also a bit of um, color. So you can see it, I did that here as well a bit, but it's lighter than, than the light here. So it's really soft. So and so this is still darker than this here. Um, so that's basically it. And then you of course have a highlight. Think of an. Uh, it's really good to look at the cue ball from pool. And then uh, so that's that's the basic. So let's paint that character. This character like this ball. So now we can start in with uh, the the basic shading. So make this brush bigger. But, and if you put this layer on, you see this layer, then you can uh, color within the shades, but we're already coloring within the mask, so you won't, we won't go outside of it. And now we can color in those, uh, here we can give it a bit of that. And we can use the ball. It's really good to first draw the ball. So then you know, oh, this side is more or less here, so we can, Take that here. So, and I'm using the the eye button to to, uh, or the when I have the brush, I press Alt, and then you get the pipette. And the pipette is uh, it's under eye. Oh, it's here. You see. So, give it. So this is how I basically start shading the the crocodile, like arms, and. Uh, so what I now didn't do is make the, the head on a separate layer. So now I'm painting, um, for example, this 
feeds should all also be darker. So you could make a selection of this and make a new layer and make that one darker. So then you can go back or maybe you can also do that with this feed here. So make the selection and make that darker. So then you can keep working on here. Make this a bit darker. And keep working on that. And then maybe make this. So this is the upside. So that's also this catches a lot of light. Also, this as well. So the ball really helps with that. So this nose, this upside should also be really light. So I try to think in 3D. So now it's really brushy, but then if you go over it a couple of times, you get this nice effect. So here you can go soft over it. Then you can add some extra shades here. Also here, this material, oh, of course, the shadow of the head is also coming down on here. So then you have this harder shadow. So try to look on um, objects. Maybe if you have a toy, keep the toy in the in the shadow and see how that uh, how the light is, how the shadow is forming uh, over it. So, so here, let's color this a bit. And here's also shadow forming. And then we have this, this thing, and then we have this. His, uh, this side should also catch a bit of light. Let's turn off the, the lines a bit more, because once we're a bit more into the drone, we can turn off the, the lines a bit more. So it's starting to look like this character there. So let's do the, the eyeballs. B. So it's really good to learn the shortcuts of uh, Photoshop out of your head. It saves so much time. So make the eyes. So make them here a bit darker because we have the shadow of the, the eyelids. It's a small spot. Also add the bounce, a bit of bounce light here. So that it gives it more real feeling. Now we can make the, the colors of the eyes. What's funny with the eyes is, let's paint that uh, in the up. So make the brush hard, do that here. So what's funny about the irises, so if we have an iris here, this is the front view, and this is then the, the side view. Here's the hole of your pupil, this and this and hole, so that's black. So light comes from there like this. So but your lens is fluid. So the light passes through it and lands here. So normally here is dark and here is light, but because it's transparent, um, it's here. It's here light and here is dark. So you would add some light here, and then you make it dark here. Let me show that in uh, in here. And it really helps because you get this really nice, uh, yeah, this nice effect. So make it more soft, make it big. So make this the upside darker. So make it dark here. And I'll stay with colors. I'll stay to try here to get the the colors really bright and colorful. Add that a bit and maybe here make it a bit lighter. So now we get this effect. You go look at the picture movies and stuff and those eyes and you see the night and the, the same and uh, same effect. So that's that. What are we going to do now? So now we have the basic shading like this here. And then we can go to the next level. So what I think now is a problem, if we turn off the, the lines, 
you wouldn't see the, that uh, this leg is separated from that. So make a new layer on top of that body layer and add a bit more light. So now you see that the leg is loose from the body. So that's how I uh, um, how I how I make that more separate. You can see that really clearly here. You see this contrast. So this light, and then we have some darkness. So that's how I make it all a bit uh, more uh, clear. Um, okay, let's continue with the, with the eyes. So here are the eyeballs. So make a new layer. Make the brush really soft and make those highlights here. Oh, should put them here. So we can put those highlights here and here. You can also put up a bit of light like this here. So you can paint in that. And um, now I'm doing it quite fast, so the video won't be really long. But basically how I get this really neat effect is just to take more time for it. So if you're starting out, just take uh, just take the time for it to make it really neat. But, but the technique will be the same as I'm now. So now I'm drawing in the eyelashes. So maybe we can turn off the, the lines. So basically at one point you just turn off the lines and then you see how you can uh, um, yeah, then then you will see what what you what needs uh, work. So we can make the no, nose uh, holes. So I take the dark colors, new layer, and draw in those nose holes. So go in the layer. You can see I added some uh, some extra light here. So then you can draw in a bit of those lines to make it more separate. Like this, and then it's basically just keep working on it. So let's see how far we can go uh, with that uh, head. So what I also sometimes do is turn off the shape dynamics like this, so you get this round brush, a bit bit transparent, so we can paint in some more harder shapes. So let's get this effect a bit here, so we get more shape in it. So, but basically it will be a uh, perfect training to take just a drawing like this and then uh, yeah, uh, draw in it so, like this and here and also you can make this a bit darker like this and then we can make and then you see oh these spots are a bit too bright so you can also make these then a bit, uh, paint these a bit darker. Maybe make them here a bit softer. And if it's too blobby, you can make this brush again softer. So softness down. What I did earlier in, in the video, maybe I'm going a bit fast, but I, I, I did explain it earlier in the video. So you can always go uh, go back in the, in the video to watch that. So I hope that gives a bit of an image how I paint these uh, characters and if you want to know some more you can look and you can uh, ask me something in the, in the video of uh, in, the, in the comments please leave a comment and if you like this video uh, you can leave an, uh, an, a message in the, in the comments and uh, like of uh, and like the video if you like it and I hope you subscribe to my youtube page if you already didn't do it and if i get more uh, more, more subscribers i can do this more and if you want to have uh, longer tutorial videos you can uh, look up uh, my patreon and there you can subscribe and uh, pay a monthly fee and then you get longer videos and then i get feedback on uh, on the work you do but I also want to do my uh, use my uh, YouTube page for these short quick.
quick uh, videos. So like this, M -I here. So, these. so let me know in the, in the, so tell me in the comments if this, if you have any questions about uh, how to do it. Maybe I'm going now a bit too, too fast. So I also want to see show a bit of progress how I keep working on it. So, but at one point now it's really rough, but I just keep working on it until I get something that I like, and then it just takes a lot of time. So adding these, so if you add these highlights, you get this wet look also in the eye. So and also I want the skin to be a bit shiny. So you take a bright color like white, and then add some some highlights here and there. If you make this one a bit darker, like this here. Oh, get the correct layer. And then, uh, and so on. Make these teeth. Also this, you want the shiny, uh, shiny piece. Oh, let's go up. And then here, 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 here. Here, let's go here. Oh, what's this green dot? I don't know what this green dot is. I think I've, oh, it's on this. So, can I move that? So basically, that is a bit how I, how I work. So, um, I'm going to post more of these video on YouTube, these short videos. And if you want to know more, know more about how I work, you can go to my Instagram or I have a book on Gumroad. So if you go to uh, gumroads.com slash Mitch you can uh, get a book with an uh, yeah, explanation of how I do these things. Or you can sign up to my Patreon page where I give each week a uh, home of uh, a lesson of an hour and then I give also feedback on the on the homework so um, yeah that's it so i hope you liked it and it was uh, yeah you you learned something from it and then i hope to see you in the next uh, next video so that's it so thanks everyone bye bye